is so good, man. The Lord is so good. Let me tell you something, man. I wonder why sometimes... We don't give God all the glory. We make the flesh take over our lives. And, you know, it's, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. It's hard out there, you know. Satan, he's, he's funny, you know. He, he want to get us. He want us to to fall back and keep sinning and he wants us to go back to him and do all these other things and you know the Lord <coughs> is is so great let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you something I had that same as that problem I would go to church I'll play the drums I would I would have a little touching and then I'll go right back to the same thing the next week Next week, and next week, and next week, and next week, I'll do the same thing. And I wasn't understanding why every time I feel so down, why every time I feel like I don't want to, I can't make it. But, you know, I think God, God gave me this revelation that, you know, we all have to give God everything. We have to give God everything. We have to give God everything so that he can move in our lives, in our lives. Listen to me. If you allow God to come in your life and if you just give up everything, your life will be different today. I had that problem before. I wasn't giving everything to God. But now as I grow up older, I realize that I need God each and every day to get through this life. I need I need to to intercede with him each and every day. That's what we have to do to get him to get to his glory. We need God. We need everything that we can get. Our lives are going in danger without God. Look what's happening in this world right now. We need God today. Hey Basha. We need God today. We need everything of him. Sometimes we allow the, the pressures, the um, the things of this life to take our over, and then we forget that we have a God that we can go to. We forget that we 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 have the Holy Ghost. Sometimes because we the devil is something else. I have this. I used to have. I used to have that same problem. When 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 I want to touch from God, I would just go to church, play the drums, and then when I go back next week. My life is just, just dormant the same way I go through the same the same time. But I realized I had to change my life. And since I changed my life, my my I feeling so much better. Look, we have to give God every everything. We have problems in our lives. But if you if you don't cry out to God and tell him everything, we have to give him everything. That's all we have to do. We we all have problems. We all have sinned unto him, but once you confess, and that's the reason why our problems are still there. That's the reason why our problems are still there, you know. But I'm telling you today. Give up all to him, and he will draw nearer. I'm telling you, he will draw nearer. No matter what we go through, we probably have an addiction that we trying to get rid of for so long. But let me tell you something. God loves when you go to him and tell him, Lord, I have an addiction and I want to get rid of it. I need you to get rid of this addiction for me. And once you do that, the Lord will come in your life and change everything. But you have to do it. You have to be sincere. 